everybody i am back again with a couple more planners in the shop and i also have another tuesday morning haul to share with you um so last uh video i showed you this fabric that i had gotten from walmart a little while back and um it's actually called forever fashion and it's from marco fabiano um licensed by wild apple so you know maybe you can find this material in other places other than just walmart if you can't find it there but it's a thin um, material and i did do what i was thinking of trying out with this it is such a pretty fabric i do have a lot more um, but i only made two planners because i didn't know how it was going to end up um i'm not going to make any more of these anytime soon but i will make more in the future it might not be exactly like what I'm about to show you, but I will be using this fabric again because it is gorgeous and I do have a lot. It was a yard. So <clears throat> now let me show you. And then after I show you that, I will show you my haul. So these planners are listed down below. It's one listing for the two of them. They do look a little bit different only because the, you know, the parts of the patterns that you cut up, you know, it's going to look different because it's not all exactly the same. So some might show, you know, one part, some might show the other. Um, anyway, here they are. They are B6 Traveler's Notebook. It's listed down below. They do go fast. I do share these things in my Facebook group first. They are an exclusive group. They get first dibs. And then I still do the videos and I show them here. So don't know these will be available by the time that you're actually watching this. So, um... I do try to keep up and remove links whenever something is sold out. So here's what they look like. And aside from the Walmart fabric, I use the materials that I've been picking up from Hobby Lobby, which is this faux fur. It's actually like fur feel. It's a cheetah print. And inside you'll see the lining is also the Hobby Lobby materials too. And as you can see, the patterns are a little different. I did turn them into shakers using the vinyl that I've picked up um, before at Joann's, but Hobby Lobby also carries the vinyl. I just picked the heaviest weight. I don't know what the weight is, but I just go, you know, I feel it and see which is the heaviest weight. Um, everything else is going to be the same except for, of course, like I said, the pattern sections are going to be a little bit different. And the back is also shaker. I just love the way these came out. So, and I'll explain in a minute what I did. Pretty simple. As far as what I did but not as easy to actually do it because of the materials and I'll explain but as you can see different parts of the designs are showing it's all stitched again this is like a faux fur cheetah print but I knew I was going to use this and this together so and most of my planners I usually do fully equipped you know filled planners but I have done one time where I just did covers and I do want to do that again for those who've already got my planners and maybe they just want to change out covers so you know later on I'll probably do just covers for the shop um, I did create this dangle here now this um, faux leather you know material flower <laughs> is actually a Dollar Tree find they are not like perfect like there's parts that are imperfect on here just so you know like one side might look nice and sparkly and shiny but then there might be like little bubbles and stuff there just so you know but this was a keychain that I took apart and I left a little bit of chain that was on there and then I added to it this sparkly um, piece there a pearl bead and then this black metal bow and it all it's on a lobster class so you can change it out we're going to just move this to the side because everything else is going to be the same. Um, I always say my stuff is not perfect, perfect. My stitching is not always perfect. Sometimes it's not like all the way around. It might not be evenly, you know, spaced. It is what it is. The fabric, um, there might be some parts where the string might, you know, the threads might come out. You can always cut that off because I didn't normally when I do a fabric cover, I actually wrap around something and then cover that. But because I sandwiched this with some other materials, I left the raw edge um, and then the plastic is on top of it. So hopefully you don't get that much threads coming off. But like I said, you can always trim off the threads that may come off. Um, and I was thinking of doing some kind of adhesive on the edge, but I just didn't know what to use where it wouldn't show that much. 
All right, so I'm gonna open this up and show you, let's put this over here instead, how it is inside. So I'm gonna pull this out for a second. Here is the other, these two are also the um, materials from Hobby Lobby. And what I did was I adhered this to the fabric so that it would give me a bit of a, a little bit stiffer feel before um, I stitched everything together. So the fabric is actually adhered to this, you know, all the way. And then I put the pocket, which is very soft. It's a very soft material. So once you put all the goodies inside, it kind of flattens everything out. But all of these materials here and the cheetah are on spools and they're considered ribbon over by the fabric and the ribbon in Hobby Lobby. So I remembered I had that. They actually have several like cheetah patterns. So I used this one, which has more of a I'm just going to say plasticky because I can't think of the word right now, but it's something that you could probably wipe off. So, <clears throat> you know, pockets on both sides as I usually do. And then I did throw in some things in here. So this is just some loose uh, list notes paper. I did cut the top off so it would fit in the pocket because it was like really long. But it says girl, po girl boss and it's got that cheetah print. And then there is an eyelash clip on the top. And then here are two note cards with the envelopes. You don't have to use the envelopes, but these are really cute. I thought went well. This is actually a Dollar Tree find. And that I found like at either Marshall's or Tuesday morning or something. It comes with an assortment of different girls and these are Barbie dolls. Um, so I picked out this one. I, I didn't have too many left, but um, you can totally like, you know, decorate your inserts with these things. You could even just cut it down. So anyway, you can do what you want. I left the envelope in case you just want to use it as a note card. And so that's what I tucked in here. Like I said, this is a, you know, flimsy kind of material. All right, so then um, I used that lip paper that I found at Hobby Lobby in here. I knew I was going to use it. It's just too pretty. There is no shaker in here because you get in the cover of the shaker. So usually when I do my shakers, you get one or the other. So that's the back and over here there's you know all of these are removable the covers are removable these are not stapled in I do use my kits my digital kits for the inserts I have the undated monthly undated weekly and in this one I have the blank sheets um, I put a target dollar spot pocket over here and inside here's your washi so I have some like fashion washi and this was actually a long piece, but I had to cut it down because it's too long to fit in here. But I cut it in a way that, you know, you could use it. It's not cutting off words or anything. And then you're getting a little section of dates and some planner stickers here. And <clears throat> little page flags or, well, yeah, I guess flags in different colors and some dots. And these little... I think these are clear stickers. I don't really want to undo it, but now nah, I'm not going to do it. These are like clear stickers. Pizza night, treat yourself, treat yourself, and movie night, and chores. So you get, you're getting a few planner stickers here. And a couple of these that I recently got, these are stickers, and I think the white comes out of there. Um, I recently got these from Target, and I thought these would be cute too. Well, not there maybe, but like put on your clear pockets or something. So that is what's in this pocket here. Everything can be moved around. I just like to set these up because that's the fun part of planning. I did make this clip. This was a head um, hair clip. So I just took off the hair clip part and then just stuck the um, paper clip with a little bit of hot glue to it for it to stay in place. Over here, we got some fun stickers. I had a lot of stuff for this because I do pick up a lot of fashion Easter kind of things. This is a whole sheet of um, like puffy stickers. Some of them are like glittery and these are from Hobby Lobby. So is this. It's just one sticker of glasses that you can decorate your planner with and one of the girls. This is a tag actually and you can color her hair. You can color the whole thing. And then these little dimensional um, lashes. 
you're getting these right here are actually stickers they're kind of like washi type of sticker paper um, but this is perfect size for these big planners here so you got these two the mascara a little handbag the word love and of course a shoe so all of these are going to be in here And here's the next sheet the paper collection um, like from the cutouts that you're gonna see and then this and I think the next two papers are I think from LOL from Hobby Lobby of course I had to use that print there here's your sticky notes we got lips be fab and flawless you are getting a diamond shaped paper clip and then of course the week on two pages this is your page marker it's a cutout from that lol collection and there is a pocket with some of the scrap of that there's a pocket there i didn't stick anything in there i just figured usually i leave my pockets up front but i really wanted to show off the girl here and she's you know her head is peeking out from the top and then oh and then i made this pom-pom clip i had the pom-pom i didn't make that one and it's on a hot pink paper clip laminated folder and on here i actually had leopard print elastic from hobby lobby i actually found that on clearance on a gold bull uh bull nose clip i think that's what it's called binder clip and then a white pen here which i think yeah it has this cap that you got to take off this little white thing so we got that and in here is another set of planner stickers. You got a credit card pocket up here from the top. And then here's some of the cutouts from the LOL. Again, you can decorate your planner with this. I already had these pre-cut in my stash already, so that was cool. I didn't have to cut much, blah, blah, blah. That's how I feel at work sometimes when people are just complaining about everything. So we got these cutouts. There's the next cover, and this is just the blank inserts. You got this jumbo clip with this black tassel. It's a jumbo. And then the back, that's the back. I have an extra clear dollar spot um, pocket. This card here, this is like a welcome mat. Hey, pretty girl. And then the girl here. And that is all. So these, again, it's listed down below. If it's still available, there's only two. So when I made this, let's see, I, I cut everything to size, which my covers are 12 by 7.5, so 12 inches long by 7.5. My pockets on the sides are 3 inches. And, you know, I cut all, all my materials. I spray uh, adhesive this to the fabric trimmed everything down cut my um, clear vinyl um, and then cut this piece which is also three inches you know by the seven and a half I put a little bit of um, hot glue just to tack it down to the cover I also put a thin line of hot glue the cover to this to hold it in place while I stitched everything now the issue that I had with this all these materials minus the vinyl it's very it gives a lot so when my sewing machine the foot you know was going and pushing things or pulling things so i did have a hard time with that um but it you know i did finish everything i probably should have changed out the foot i just didn't think of it at the time because i have another one that's i forgot i think a teflon foot so it's like flat and things should slide through and i should have changed it out but I didn't forgot all about it actually well anyway that was the issue with that but that's how I made it and the only way to hold things together um, a little bit of glue and also some clips too just to kind of get me going once it started to go then it was fine so now let me show you the Tuesday morning haul I'm just gonna do it in this one video because so. <clears throat> I did go to another one today um, a little further down and I did get another pack of the grandma um, collection kit that I got yesterday so same thing that I showed in the last haul I'm not going to open it up
but I just wanted another one because of the sticker pack. I wanted to have at least two sticker packs for this. I was able to find another one of these. So now I got two and another one of these. Um, and I'm pretty sure I only had picked up one. I could be wrong. I might have two. I don't know. I'll check my stash. And I got two of these from Jed, Jen Hadfield. And what collection is this? Hmm. It just says Ephemera PP. I have no idea. But I'm just going to kind of show you like this. It's a fun like garden theme and some fun colors. But there are some butterflies in here too. So got that. Got these two sets of washi. This one is from All Heart from Crate Paper. I've never even heard it, but I got it mainly because of that one floral. There's also butterflies in there. So I know I'm going to be doing butterfly theme. And then this one is called Every Day. It's just an Every Day from American um, Crafts. But actually the back kind of shows you what they look like, but it's so small. I think I got this one mainly because of that little like floral truck thing and it's rose gold too. So I got that. I this is restock. I've gotten these before, but I have a feeling that they used to be cheaper. They're $2.99. Um pom pom little pom pom dangle kind of things. And I got these neutrals. Love these fuzzy balls. And then I got these. And there's three of each color in here. Actually, I don't think the packs I got before had this many. Maybe that's why it was cheaper. Because there's 12 in here. And lastly, you know, I love sequins and I love to add sequins to every single planner I make. So I did pick up this. This is from Little Birdie. And it's Christmas sequins. But it's got different shapes and they're more muted down kind of sequins. You know, not that much sparkle I guess for a more vintage look but there's different kinds of sequins in here flat ones and um, cut and I think I see a leaf in there it just has a whole bunch of stuff yeah there are little tiny leaves in there hmm. and um, different sizes so I, know, I thought I would get that it's only $1.99 they only had this one color so I got that. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.